What is up and welcome to another Loose Beats where our motto is chill out and make a beat. I'm Toby aka Cushing from the TND YouTube channel. Make sure you check out everything we do and today I'm going to show you how I move and quantize notes from a real instrument in Logic. And so first off I'm going to show you uh, this beat song I already have prepared and uh, then we're going to make our own track and watch it snap to and see if we can slide it into place. So here we go. so this is already pulled too and we're just gonna start a new one and get a similar little line here and we're gonna see what it can do and you know everyone's playing isn't perfect mine's definitely not and I get a little bit of lag here so it's gonna be off definitely and we're gonna see how much the robots can help us out Um, so, you know, we uh, got as close as we could, tried to get a little note on the end. I hope that that comes through, but let's go ahead and listen to it before anything's done. And, uh, we can obviously see some right here. We can see, uh, that I was coming in quick, maybe because of my lag, I was trying to overcompensate. Maybe, maybe that's just how I play. Yeah, so you can obviously see that everything's just a little tilted and off, and that's okay, because that's what we're here for. And so first we're going to go down, we've got our track up, we've got our, you can click your scissors over here, bring up your track, and then you're going to hit this right here, this flex tune, and uh, it's going to turn on your flex, it's going to analyze all the notes that are a little out and I want to go ahead you should be joined okay and so see down here uh, it's a given us uh, where it thinks all of the notes start where it first gets the signal of all these notes right and so from here we can go up and we can hit our quantize Let's try a 16th and see it moved us here. Uh, it didn't take our initial note, but uh, let's go ahead and see what it did with the 16th quantize. I mean, I was actually, I mean, it was close enough, I guess, for it to find, you know, this one pulled it back a little off the marquee on this, but it still sounded okay. Kind of, one of them kind of sounded a little more natural. That, that sounded fine for some reason. And, you know, you don't want it too robotic, but then it did mess up uh, this uh, little riff right here, if we hear that again. Not quite how we want it, you know, 
um my uh my slide there you know just wasn't perfect and it really wants to drag it out and make it a little more perfect so i almost want to pull it a little closer to kind of make it a single note or you know closer relation here let's try that it's a little closer let's try it again You know, we can kind of meet it in the difference. Maybe pull this back and hit that note just slightly early too. You can play around with it to make it sound more human. You don't want it to sound too weird. But, you know, if it's perfectly on, sometimes it doesn't sound right. Mm. Give it another chance. Yeah. I kind of like it back a little bit. Um, that's fully joined, so let me see. Hmm. I did hit a different note that time, I noticed. Now that is a different thing altogether for, if we're messing with pitch. This is just about our initial hits of our sound. And uh, so it got really close. It's not bad, but so you can go through and you're going to want to find ones that you want to be moved or closer together like we had. And you can rejoin them as sounds. You know, it'll make, it'll turn them back purple instead of white. The whites are the ones that have been moved. You know, the transients, those outliers, the outlaws on the edge of society that they want to snap back to. And some people don't need to be snapped back, you know. And so it did a pretty good job. I was okay with this. My recording wasn't as nice. It, uh, the other recording seemed a little more finesse and a little more maybe even in tune, even though I did tune. Um, you never know. Um, but it did pretty good. And so we have this other we have this other track up here that I did a lower note to. And uh, I just want to do a recap on how that one decided to quantize too, because. All I did was hit its uh, eighth note on this one just because they were dr uh, drug out a little bit. And so really, my only complaint... Um, it's not going to get really complex. You know, it's like if you're playing a solo, I would not suggest taking this route. I would suggest more going in and adjusting it by hand um, if you did want to change something of a track you already had. But for this, uh, dr you know, this drug out stuff, it really, really works up until things like this. If you see uh, this little peak right here where it cuts off, which is the actual initial note, but it's just... Uh, it's kind of dead sound, you know, it's not actually when the, the note starts, it's kind of the string sound and that it kind of glitches out and doesn't know what to do with and doesn't put it in a proper place. You hear it, it just, uh, it, it's trying to stretch it out and make it space and it just doesn't work. So a lot of those I would kind of go in and just pull out that, uh, I would just rather have silence, I think, than that glitch, you know? And so that's something you can just go in and kind of pull out and uh, let's see what it sounds with nothing. All right. Ah, see, it's still getting a glitch a little bit. You're going to have to go in and do some micro editing here, you know. That's something you zoom into. Or you can pull it out with volume or something. You know, there's a lot of other ways. But, you know, this has actually been really helpful with me. I play guitar on a lot of tracks, and I want to start playing real bass, you know. Like, I have a violin. I'm not really good, but i uh, love to try if I could implement it, you know, into a kind of MIDI uh, way of processing it, just because that's how I can match everything up and make it perfect. And so this has been a real help for me, and I'm looking for some new tools, too, uh, that I can that might be a little more precise and kind of know different instruments really well and know how they slide and know how to stretch the sounds a little better. And so I'm I'm going to be looking for stuff like that to try to get and so 
that was it. And I wanted to show you guys this thing I've been using and I've been really excited about as long as you can use it correctly and get close enough, then uh, I think you'd be good. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll be back next week with some more beats. Uh, make sure to check out the podcast. We're doing great things. We got a lot of new people on. Uh, make sure to check out Play Dead. Uh, David teaches you Grateful Dead songs. And make sure to check out all our pot. If you, if, you know, if you got a few bucks, if you got five bucks, you can check out our Patreon. You can watch all these cool shows. We watch movies with you guys, do a lot of different stuff. So uh, check us out. DM me if you like some music, want some beats. And we can go out on this little thing that it was called Stank. I appreciate y'all.